Five years ago, I started the month of August in Croatia. With my time abroad coming to an end, I took a solo trip to Split, a final farewell to the adventuring expat chapter of my life. My lease on my final apartment in Paris expired a week before my long pre-booked return to the US. Seeing this as my last chance to travel Europe on the cheap, I looked at a map with an eye towards beaches for nursing those separation wounds. Years earlier, my younger brother and I wound up unhappily skipping Croatia on our backpacking trip, and Google told me that Split was a good place for beaches in Croatia, and so off I went. This particular trip was strange, meditative, and also unexpectedly melancholy. A disclaimer, while I am a strong proponent of solo trips, Split struck me as a place better enjoyed with friends. Still, I wandered the old city and mourned a transition I wasn't prepared to make. I filmed statues and the sea, so much of the sea, because in Paris I'd had the Seine and in Split I had the sea and in a few short days I would return to landlocked flyover country USA. I made a point of appreciating the sea. The trip was, in some ways, a sibling to a week I spent in London in 2008 between my college study abroad and my brother joining me for a backpacking adventure. Both trips were spent walking the streets of an unfamiliar place in a way that was a little bit more meditative than sightseeing. On the one hand, I was struck by how much I wished my friends, my friends who were much of what I would be leaving behind, were with me. It seemed a questionable choice to spend this final week without them. On the other, though, it was good to remind myself of my own independence, my own ability to go and do and see and be and, critically, make my own meaning define my own experiences. This is something that travel has given me time and again over the years. On a whim, I went rafting. I left my camera at the hostel that day, so here's some more of the sea. Because I was by myself, I was grouped in with this French family, and there was something weirdly poignant about the fact that even on my Croatian getaway, I was confronted with my fraught relationship with the French language. A reminder that my year in Paris was beautiful and rewarding, but not without its challenges. But this rafting trip was weird and wonderful, and along with our Croatian guide, we sang a trilingual rendition of in the jungle, and I got to be a bizarre, inexplicable presence in someone else's family photo. I went on that trip as my last hurrah, but I've been thinking of it a lot lately, and not just because Time Hop is reminding me of it, but also because I've been relatively still for a while now. I've been finding smaller lessons in agency and exploration to be learned in that stillness, but I'm starting to think that somewhere along the way I let myself believe the lie that this was somehow it the end of my traveling days. Never mind the simple fact that I was in Croatia again just two years later, the more important truth is that I always have the option to go. It just turns out that staying is also a choice. 